So you see the brother just shot his soul. There was no mercy there. The dude was dancing with the with the woman. Woman nine times out of ten was a hoe. Just let the hoe, let the hoe go. Fire for your head top, for your head piece, for your wig. We're going to burn it off with the word of God. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All friends of the most high, man. We just talked about uh, uh, Dripping Satan. What was her name? Dripping Honey. Yeah, yeah, Dripping Honey. <laughs> Ain't nothing sweet about a whore. Anyways, uh, we got another video for you. Some stuff's going on in Detroit. You know, we keep it, we keep it real in here. Uh, there's some evil stuff. Actually, I was reading it earlier. I want y'all to hear this, and I want you to form your own opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? Keith, can you put it up for us? My man, Keith's on the ones and twos. He always helped people. He laughed a he lot and made other people laugh. He was... He always helped people. He was 53-year-old Sean Hayden, a grandfather with several kids. He was shot to death at his cousin's birthday party Tuesday night on Bishop near I-94 on Detroit's east side. It hurts. It just hurts. You know, we got a large family. We miss them. And we just want to know, why did you do it? The accused shooter distantly related through a marriage. And according to Sean's older brothers, Abram and Cedric, their family had never even met this guy before. Reportedly, the suspect didn't like how Sean was dancing with a woman. Even if it is dancing with a girl, I mean, what, what do you say and do? For, for your reason for you to pull a gun out over a dance. The suspect now in custody and awaiting charges, but the arrest wasn't easy. After the shooting, police say he fled Bishop Street. DPD tracked him to Leisure near Outer Drive on the west side, where police issued a barricaded situation that lasted hours. Turns out the suspect was actually checking himself into a hospital and caused a scene because he brought his gun. Why go to a hospital? Why would you leave the scene of the crime? Abram and Cedric are looking for answers and closure. They say Sean was unarmed and sitting down when he was shot. Not only that, they know Sean wasn't the type of guy to get into a fight. He was on disability, so it wasn't too much that he can physically get involved in. They hope charges will be swift and that justice will be served. Reporting in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's some evil stuff, man. You know, a lot of times in Detroit you see black on black crime. You see us treating us horribly. We got to fix that. Mm -hmm. We got to fix the prophets of God. The prophets of God are back on the earth to fix this wicked behavior we have in our nation. Hey, I want to I want to pull a scripture. Give me uh, Jeremiah 7 and verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 6. Hey, start at 5. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. For if ye thoroughly amend your way. What does God expect the black man to do? Thoroughly amend your ways. We must thoroughly amend our ways. Now, what I see in our community, we are, we've gone through four to five hundred years of oppression, and no one has given us therapy. No one has stood up and said, "Let me fix what's going on in this community." Normally, when people go to war, they come back with what PTSD, and they have to get what therapy. We have PTSD from. Year, what's it called? Post traumatic slave, slave, slave syndrome. Mm -hmm. That's what we have. That's why you see so much disorder, so much chaos, so much death in our communities. Because we, as the prophets of God, we will we are coming back now. We are back now to amend our people's ways. To tell them, thus saith the Lord, so they can fix themselves. Come on. And your doings. Mm -hmm. If you thoroughly execute judgment. If you thoroughly what? Execute judgment. Between what? Between a man and his neighbor. You have to, we have to thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor. This is why the white man has to police us. Because we cannot execute judgment in our own neighborhoods. We can't judge between a man and his neighbor. We have to let another nation do it. You don't recognize this? Read on. If ye oppress not the stranger. What do we do? 
if you oppress not the stranger. You're not supposed to oppress a brother that you don't know. But here we are shooting brothers we don't even know. Just because we're sick in our mind. Come on. The fatherless mm -hmm. and the widow mm -hmm. and shed not innocent blood in this place. What are you not supposed to do? Shed not innocent blood in this place. You're not supposed to shed innocent blood. Mm. You're not supposed to just kill a brother that looks just like you. Because you don't like the way he dance. Just because you don't like the way he dance, the way he talk, or how he says something to you. Brother stepped on your shoe, you killed him. I heard back when I was younger, I heard a brother took a... He, he grabbed a piece of chicken off a brother's plate, ran, and got shot in the back of his head. Dang. You died for some chicken? That's BS right there, bro. Read on. Same. Neither walk after other guys to your hurt. It's our... It's, I'm telling you right now, us being in these churches that are in every street corner is to our hurt. Mm -hmm. Because you have murderers sitting in the congregation that pray to the Lord on Sunday. And kill a man on Thursday. He got mm. murderers in the pulpit. All right. Mm. Damn. You know, mm. you know, it was a lot of details. You got, you got some more on that. Mm, that's good. It was a lot of details in that story that stood out to me. Uh, give me the book of Matthew twenty-four, and we're gonna read verse twelve because it was a lot of key points that was in there after reviewing it that shed light on why that situation happened. Mm. A lot of times. Our people don't realize whenever they break the commandments of God, judgment will arise. Uh, one detail was they were celebrating a birthday. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, a lot of people may not know, but birthdays are satanic. That's right. As a matter of fact, the satanic Bible says birthdays is the highest holy day for them because it is the day in which one may worship himself. Mm -hmm. so now, G days. No, no G days. Right. Now, a lot of people in modern society, they've grown up all their life celebrating birthdays. Mm -hmm. So to hear anything opposed to, oh, let's go in out, get a bottle for my birthday, mm -hmm. is asinine to them. Right. But biblically, God says it's judgments in the black community for us breaking these. Mm -hmm. Not only that, in the birthday. Now, you got to imagine, for somebody to be upset at how you dancing with a woman. Right. The dance must have been some type of uh it, 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 it had to be some bumping and grinding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not and we don't know who this woman is. Was it his was that was man's that his woman? Girl? Yeah. Like why would you, why would you be upset with somebody right. dancing with a woman unless Normally, it's yeah. your woman? Right, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Or somebody you like or something. And listen, let's read the scripture. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And because iniquity all about. So when you read Matthew 24, the disciples ask Christ, how will we know when the return or when uh, the apocalypse is going to pop off? When the end of day is going to pop off, mm -hmm. right? Or end of time, rather. Mm -hmm. And he, he gives them a, a list of things that's going to happen. He speaks of rumors of wars, which we may go into later. Yep. He speaks of false prophets arising, antichrist arising. But then he keys in on this part. Read it again. And because iniquity. Shall abound. Because sin will be so prevalent in our communities. Read. The love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. So you hear, you hear at a family function. Mm -hmm. But because the function is founded on evil, yeah. birthdays, because yeah. inside the function it's probably weed, mm -hmm. it's, uh, people getting drunk, uh, people play gambling in the corners. We know how family functions is. Mm -hmm. The, the the young cousins, they go up the block to smoke to make sure they not around the adults. They yep. come back high as hell. Yep. The adults, they smoking, drinking throughout the, the party. They dress hide, all go. out of order. You know what I'm saying? The little kids playing hidey go, giddy go yep. in the backyard. Yep. And because of this evil, iniquity waxed cold. Mm. Uh, 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 one kid. of our people was yeah. shot dead at a young age. Yeah, 53 is young. Yeah, 53 is young, kind of young. But <laughs> <laughs> is kind of young he's, still. He's, 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 you know what I'm saying? on this earth, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it might be only got 20 left, yeah, but so, that's kind of young. Yeah, so, he, but He did pass, his, uh, pass the hill. You know? Exactly. But he was put to death unjustly right. yeah. because of the sin that's mm -hmm. going on in our community. It exactly. all goes back to the sin. I agree 100%. Because the scriptures talk about that in Hosea 4. Get that. The scriptures talk about that in Hosea 4 as far as 
like you said, it was the foundation of the reason they was gathering was wicked. Mm -hmm. So everything that comes from it is about to be wicked. Everything that happens in there is about to be wicked. And the judgment came, like you said, read that in Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So God is talking to us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. In case you ain't know, we are the children of Israel. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So Moshe got an issue with us here. Moshe got an issue with us. Especially now, man. We in a, all manners of sin. We in all manners of idolatry, right? Read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, uh -huh. nor knowledge of God in the land. So there's no truth. There's no laws. There's no mercy. You see the brother just shot him cold. There was no mercy there. The dude was dancing with the with the woman. Woman nine times out of ten was a hoe. Just she, let the hoe let the mm -hmm. hoe go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not shooting no man over no woman. It's not going to happen. Right. It's not going to just let the hoe go. Some men run out of their wits for women. Run yeah. straight out of it. That's shooting a brother. And risk, you know, your life over it's, a woman. That's going out of your wits. We're going to read that. After you do that, going out of your wits. Read and on. he old and age, so right. he ain't right. like he going to jail. Yeah, on, bro. Be, You're done. Yo, you, you dying in there. Read. By swearing. By, uh-huh. And lying. Uh-huh. And killing. So they were swearing and lying and celebrating birthdays. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, blasph that's blasphemy according to God. That's not... The, according to the laws of God, we celebrate days that he gave us, Passover. Mm -hmm. We celebrate tabernacles. We right. celebrate the uh, Feast of Dedication. We Ooh. celebrate the Day of Atonement. Ooh. We don't celebrate no damn birthdays. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why death. Matter of fact, didn't the king used to get, uh, get heads? He wanted people's head. Who he had he wanted? Yeah, he used to die. Who had he wanted on his birthday? John, John, the, Baptist. John, John the, Baptist. the Baptist. got his head cut off on his birthday. For yeah. a birthday. For but, a birthday of another nation. Exactly. So we we following after the nations. Come on. And stealing. Uh-huh. And committing adultery. And committed adultery. Probably with the hoe. We don't know. Read. They break out. They break out. And what they do? And blood toucheth blood. And what? Blood toucheth blood. Pow, pow, pow. You kill your own brother mm. over wickedness. That's how we get down in the black community these days. Mm. That's why the truth, God, must go out. Let's read that first Ezra's first Ezra's four twenty-two. I think it's twenty-two. I might be shooting from the hip, but it's okay. First Ezra's four, because he said, My man ran out of his wits. Now I'll show you what kind of spirit is out there today. After Esau has put us in slavery for four hundred years, the white man is Esau, by the way. After he's put us in slavery for all of these years, I'm gonna show you what kind of spirit is. On us, around us, at this 25. very day. 26. 26. 26. Read that. First Ezra chapter 4 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Your wits would say, this woman's a hoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are many fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. Like your dad used to tell you. Yeah. There's many women out there. There's more women than men. Just grab one. You know, go get another one. Yeah, yeah. But my man's wits, he ran out of them. And kill this brother. Read. And become servants for their sake. Watch this. Many also have perished. Have died. Have erred. Have erred. And sinned. A man died for a woman. Mm -hmm. And, the other, and the other one erred and sinned for a woman. Come on, man. Y'all got to get into this Bible and get your minds right. Read. Mm -hmm. And sin for women. Now watch this. Go to Job 24. We're going to jump around a little bit. The spirit that's out there today is a murderous spirit, and it's linked with adultery. Job chapter 24, start at 1. Job chapter 24 and verse 1. Come on. Why? Seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty. So times are not hidden from the Almighty. God sees how times have been moving. Back in the day, we used to be on top. We used to be the ones. We used to be them guys. That's why we touched the basketball, billions of dollars flew. That's why when we touched the baseball, billions of dollars flew. So the times is now still present and it's in front of your face. I'm going to show you something today. Read. Do they that know him not seek his days? Mm -hmm. Some remove the landmarks. Now watch this. Jump to 7. Job chapter 24 and verse 7. Read. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing. Come on. That they have no covering in the cold. How many times have you seen your brothers as hobos in the street? Your brothers begging for money. I'm going to show you all of this stuff is connected. Read on. They are wet with the showers of the mountains. Jump to verse 9. Verse 9. They pluck the fatherless from the breast mm -hmm. 
and take a pledge of the poor. Mm -hmm. They cause him to go naked without clothing. They do what? Cause him to go naked without clothing. Jump to verse 12. Verse 12. Men groan from out of the city. So now we see, we are groaning right now for what we see our brothers doing to our brothers. Men groan from out of the city. How many people do you know in Detroit that's groaning right now? Because their money's being touched. Their lives are being uh, mishandled, dealt with wrongfully. Their people are dealing with them wrongfully. It's all because of the system that's set up. That's why we have to escape the mindset of America. Read. And the soul of the wounded crieth out. The soul of the wounded what? Crieth out. Read verse 13. Verse 13. They are of those that rebel against the light. Our people, the light is God's commandments. When you read Proverbs 6, 23. Our people are of those that rebel against the light. I'm going to show you what happens. Come on. They know not the ways thereof, mm -hmm. nor abide in the paths thereof. They think they know the ways of God. They think they know the ways of Christ, but they don't abide in it for real. It's not really, uh, they're not really in Christ. They think they are when they sit in the pool pit. They watch white Jesus. They watch the passion of the Christ. They think they're praying to the right thing, but they're not. That's why God says they know not the ways thereof. Read on. The murderer. The what? The murderer. Rising with the light. Killeth the poor. We are the poor. And my brother right here was in the mindset that he's been given by the white man. He rose with the light and he killed his brother. Read. Kill up the poor and needy. He did what? Kill up the poor and needy. Read. And in the night is as a thief. And I'm going to show you how this is linked with adultery. Come on. The eye also of the adulterer waiteth for the twilight. What does he wait for? Waiteth for the twilight. Now in the video, what time was it when they was grinding with each other? Was it in the morning? Was it in the evening? What time was it at? For the twilight. It was at night. Because the eye of the adulterer is linked with the eye of the murderer. And it's they were, uh, 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 what it said, they wait for the nighttime. Now they're grinding with each other. Read on. Saying, no eye shall see me, mm. and disguiseth his face. Come on. In the dark, they dig through the houses. Yeah, read. Which they had marked for themselves in the daytime. What does that mean? That means, yo, yo, look at Shorty over there. Mm. She with my mans. But yo, at night, I know she's going to this club. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go holler at Shorty over there. Look, look, look. Hey, my man, look. I'm gonna that I'm gonna mark her. That's the one I want. Right. When she get to the club, that's the one I'm gonna be with. This is what they do. And when the night come, read. They know not the light. Uh-huh. For the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. Read. If one know them. Meaning if one knows that they're about to go and take old boy's girl, they'll be upset about that. They'll be, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm about to get found out. They're about to see me commit adultery. This is how our people are, and it's linked with the spirit of murder. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all I have. You got some uh, Amazon, Aaron? Yeah, I wanted to add something. So did they say who the woman was to them? Did they say that at no, all? No, but we can infer. Right, no. so we don't even know who it is. It right. could have been his sister. Damn. It could have been anybody. But the issue is, go to Isaiah 3 and verse 5. The issue is, is that many of our people don't even know how to control their emotions. A situation like that, right? You see a uh, brother dancing with the sister, whoever she is to you. It's nothing but a conversation. Hey, I don't like that. Hey, don't do that anymore. They could have easily talked about it. Yeah. But instead, it turned into gunshots. Read that. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 5. And the people shall be oppressed, mm -hmm. every one by another. So the Bible says that our people will be oppressed by each other. Now, we got enough going on in our city. We got uh, children going missing. We got drugs. We got a, a poor education. We got many things going on. So why do we have to worry about our people being oppressed by each other? It goes back to what Samson brought out earlier about our people lacking understanding. So, so um, what is it said? Uh, Sin shall abound. Shall, shall abound. Mm -hmm. Read on. And every one by his neighbor. By your own neighbor, by your own family or close kin, you're being oppressed by your own people. Go ahead. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, uh -huh. and the base against the honorable. And sadly enough, this is not an uncommon story. We have many situations that go on in our neighborhoods where children are killing each other. Just recently, uh, three three uh, young men pulled up to an 18-year-old boy's house and killed him mm -hmm. just last night. Mm -hmm. So this is not uncommon. So for us to fix it, we got to come back to the true knowledge. We can't keep dealing the way we're dealing. Islam, Christianity is not helping us. 
we got to come back to the commandments or we're going to continue to do the same behavior. Right. That's all I got. And mm. let me get a script. Let's go back to Hosea chapter 4 and we'll read verse 6. Yeah, talk to the mic. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Someone says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What knowledge is that? Because guess what? We have Google. We have all these search engines that gives us anything that we are looking for at our fingertips. But read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the knowledge that it's talking about is talking about God's laws. Our people reject God's laws. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me, uh -huh. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We have forgotten God's laws. That's why we go around murdering, killing, stealing, fornicating, adultery. We have forgotten God's laws. And guess what? It's not being taught in our Christian churches. Leave, get out of these, these whorehouses that they call churches. Right. Leave them. They're not teaching you what you need to learn for salvation. Read on. I will also forget thy children. Uh-huh. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. So we continue to sin against God over and over and over again. That's why these stories, it's like on repeat. Somebody's always getting shot. Somebody's always dying. The kids are always being kicked. Like, it just goes on and on and on. And the churches, your pastors, they don't have any solutions for our people. But that's all I got. I want to add one more scripture. Go ahead. Uh, go to Leviticus 26 and verse 38. So this kind of, I want to tie it kind of back to what happened with the sister, uh, what was her name? Uh, Dripping Honey. Mm -hmm. So the examples that we see, even what she was uh, rapping about, continues to uh, perpetuate the idea that we see nowadays with the way that, that uh, the young man acted towards the, uh, the, older, the older man and killed him. Yeah. Read that. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 38. Uh -huh. And ye shall perish among the heathen. So the heathen is America. It's, uh, it's the nations outside of our people. Go ahead. And the land of your enemies shall eat you up. So it said the land of our enemies shall eat us up. Meaning the customs, the idea. If you ever heard the saying, the Negro was created in a lab, created in America. So the land of our enemies will eat us up. All the customs that we see, the rap music is pushed by America. Uh, the drugs, the lifestyle that black people live today is uh, pushed in America. The scriptures say that we're going to continue to be eaten up by the land of our enemies if we continue to stay in sin. Go ahead. And they that are left of you shall pine away. So they that are left of us are all of us that you see in America now. Our children, our sons, our daughters. Go ahead. Go ahead. And their iniquity. So it said they shall pine away in their iniquities. Meaning if it's not corrected, what you'll see is that the children will continue to get worse and worse. So what, what, like what we saw in, the, uh, in that high school. If we don't correct it as a prophet, if we don't correct these issues, mm -hmm. then we're going to see our children continue to go down the same path and it's going to get worse. Go ahead. In your enemies' lands. Uh -huh. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. So you're going to see iniquity continue to get worse and worse if... The word of God is not implemented into our communities. That's right. That's 100 percent. And that's what we be seeing, bro. These little young, them old guys, they started off young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They was they was probably banging that NWA NWA. Yeah. Niggas with attitude. Yeah. Shooting niggas and them nigga bro, this yeah. and nigga that. And then next thing you know, I wish a nigga would mm -hmm. say something to mine. Yeah. Then blow head off. So yeah. That's what we live in. That's the time to air this whole thing out. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. hear one more scripture before we go to break, man. Go to Micah 2 and 8. Yes, Micah 2, verse 8. Micah chapter 2 and verse 8. Even of late, my it's, people. They say, even of late. So, we're going to bring it up to modern day times, right? Mm -hmm. We went through the turbulent 60s together. For the most part, black people, we got alone. You know what I'm saying? We had our own schools. Yep. We had our own hospitals. Yep. Mm -hmm. We had we was fighting for our freedoms together. Yep. We might have civil disputes. Maybe uh, the nation of Islam didn't agree with the way uh, Malcolm, I mean Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, we all had the same fight. We all had the same common enemy, yep. and we had, all had a love for each other, right? Mm -hmm. But it says, "What to read that again?" Even of late. Even of late, but now. In this later period, read. My people is risen up as an enemy. We have become enemies of each other. We have become an enemy, our own worst enemy. 
We no longer do we look to say let's fight oppression, let's fight the systemic powers that put us in this situation. Now let's fight the nigga down the street. Yeah. Let's fight my own blood relative. Hey Samson, you know what's crazy, bro? Because you just brought this to my mind. Every time we bring that out, right? We say, yeah, this, we been put in the system where they took the jobs out. Now they forcing us to steal. What what the black man say? Well, my own brother, he'll be, he'll be, he the one that robbed me. The white man don't do nothing. So that's exactly what you're saying. Is but facts. they know that wherever you create poverty, you create crime. Yep. Right. If you got poor people, you're going to have thieves. Yep. Yep. You got poor people, you're going to have robbers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you drop drugs in the hood, you're going to have drug dealers. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This, it, this was uh, thought out way before any of us even stepped foot on the earth. Yep. Right. This plan was put together. Mm-hmm. But the point is, we can't be killing each other that's along right. with it. Read on. You pull off the road. We rob each other. Read? With the garment from them that pass by securely. What size is them? What size is them Jordans right, right there? Right, Run that watch. Right. What size? You know, that's what pulling off the Check garment is. Yeah, or in. where you know what's common in Detroit. We, you go downtown to snatch some yays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know pull off the is. garment. That's an activity. Yeah. Right. That's a less a uh, stream sport in Detroit. <laughs> that's an right. Extreme sport. Cartier <laughs> snatching. Right. You know what I'm saying? This that's what the Bible was talking about. You pull off the garment of your own brother. You mm-hmm. snatch his, his yays off his face. Mm-hmm. Dude's getting murdered for that. Exactly. Yeah. I know. I, I know. Many stories of people being killed for glasses. Detroit right, police say a teenager lost his life this weekend over a pair of sunglasses. Happened late Saturday night at this Valero gas station on Seven Mile and East Outer Drive. Larry Spruill is there live tonight. And Larry, you're hearing there may be video of what happened. Good evening, Kimberly and Jason. Well, police and the store owner here tells me that there is video that shows the shooting that happened inside the gas station. But take a look. There are cameras all over the place. You see cameras on the outside and there are cameras in the inside of the store as well. It's a busy Memorial Day here at this Valero gas station on the corner of Seven Mile and East Outer Drive, but it's anything but business as normal. After police say an 18 year old was shot and killed inside the gas station Saturday night, all over a pair of Cartier glasses. Family members tell me Monday, Lateo Garrett and his brother stopped by the gas station to get something to drink. Police say a man tried to grab Garrett's glasses. Garrett stepped back. That's when the suspect shot him. The suspect ran and got into a Chevy Red Cobalt with three other males and drove off. Monday, local four cameras rolling while police pulled up to the gas station. We also saw them riding through the neighborhood. Meanwhile, family members are hoping the cameras will help identify who shot Garrett. And police tell me the suspect is a black male between 20 and 25. He's slim build and wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt and gray sweatpants with white shoes. Now, if you know anything about this suspect or what happened here inside the store, you're asked to call police. We are live on the Choice East Side tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Hey, what's happening? Oh, just, you ain't subscribed yet? Look at this guy, man. You ain't right, man. Get the, press the button. Press the button. Read him. You pull off the road with the garment from them that pass by securely as men averse from war. You treating each other like we at war with each other. Mm-hmm. When we spiritually, mentally, and uh, all different ways at war with this system, a war with the so-called white man who put us here. That's but we be. treating each other like we at war with each other. We got gangs, gang wars. You got uh, drug wars. Mm-hmm. We treat each other like we at war. And it's time for us to stop. So, uh, reverse 10, real quick. Go ahead. Now, it goes back to the point what he just said. Because remember, people will say, oh, well, black people are the ones that are my enemies when we ask that question. Mm-hmm. So, if you think that's a, the, a true statement, which to the extent it is, if you want to see change, this is the solution right here. Reverse 10. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart. The Bible says depart from these things. Go ahead. So, the, what we read about us robbing each other, we must depart from that. Go ahead. For this is not your rest. So the land that we live in is not our rest. Now we're taught to be comfortable here, to love the ways of this world, but it's not our rest. Go ahead. Because it is polluted. This whole system that we live in is polluted. Everything that we do from the way we raise our children, the way we educate them, the way we do anything is polluted. Go ahead. It shall destroy you. The ways of this world will destroy our people. And that's what we see today. Our people are being destroyed. Go ahead. 
even with a sore distraction. To the point where we don't even see an end to what's going on with our people today. We don't even know when it's going to end. Right. Just live, we just live day to day. You heard that, Christians? Because y'all think you're supposed to have prosperity in America. Yep. Hell no. It's not going to happen. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 